video of a chaotic and tragic scene when a mother of five is shot and killed. Now her father seeking justice after what he calls an injustice. 8 News Now investigator Vanessa Murphy has this exclusive story you'll see only here. Now we do want to warn you, the story contains graphic violence. This is Jamie with her oldest. Gary Chase says being a mom to her five kids was everything to his daughter, Jamie. They have very fond memories of her. This is when the 32-year-old mom's life was cut short. My daughter was unarmed. All she had was her words. This is Jamie Chase showing up to a Las Vegas home after she learned her ex's roommate, LaHala Kaiway Brewer, drove her 11-year-old son to school that morning without her permission. The women exchange words, then Jamie walks away. Highway Brewers dogs get in Jamie's SUV. More words are exchanged. And then <laughs> Highway Brewer shoots Jamie in the head by her left temple. According to Jamie's boyfriend, Kaiway Brewer won't immediately drop the gun and he has to knock it out of her hand. She panics, says she can't find her phone, then looks for her dogs while Jamie lays bleeding on the ground. Hey, my girl just shot in the head. She eventually calls 911. I shot her. Along with the neighbor. I just saw somebody get shot in the head. And the boyfriend. He tries CPR, but chaos continues when police arrive. Highway Brewer is arrested on a murder charge. She tells detectives she felt there was no other option to stay safe but to shoot Jamie. Then Jamie's dad gets that fateful call. He said that um, there was a shooting and my daughter was, was killed and she's gone. I'm sorry, pretty much all I remember him saying. And I said, you better not be messing with me. No, this is not a, a funny joke at all. He later breaks the news to Jamie's five children, the youngest just four years old, the oldest 13. We just told them that their mom was gone. And she, she passed away. A lot of crying, a lot of disbelief. A lot of hurt. He and his wife immediately take their grandkids in at their Pahrump home. While trying to grieve, he learns the murder charge is dropped. Kaiway Brewer pleads guilty to voluntary manslaughter with use of a deadly weapon. She knew what she was doing. She knew where the gun was. She picked it up. She knew it was loaded. She stopped to cock it. Kaiway Brewer is scheduled to be sentenced in September. She faces two to 20 years in prison. Sorry and a slap on the wrist. Have a nice life. Gary Chase also blames poor communication from the Clark County District Attorney's Office. District Attorney Steve Wolfson tells me he believes his office was in constant contact with Gary Chase. A prosecutor indicated she was inclined to offer the plea deal, but Gary Chase was informed it was official after it already happened. Wolfson also tells me his prosecutors believe that plea deal is the best way to ensure a conviction in this case. This isn't trying. This is laying down, letting me get kicked again. And while he seeks justice for his daughter, he continues to focus on his grandkids. They, um, some, some, sometimes they wake up crying at night, calling her for her for her. They, they know she's right there. She helps guide us very much so. The kids go out and... Look at the sky, talk to her all the time. Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. Now, Cowie Brewer's sentencing is scheduled for September 12. She previously posted bond, has been on house arrest. According to Metro Police, she spent a total of 12 days in jail. Vanessa reached out to her lawyer, who declined to comment.